guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about Superman and Lois and also the crossover event which is happening next year so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so let's first off talk about this massive news regarding the crossover so this crossover this year Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same as our normal years because none of our DC TV shows are actually returning until 2021. So, at the normal mid season, which is around the end of January, so December, November time, there will be no crossover, but they are planning a crossover. And it's interesting what they've planned to do, but they're going to include characters from other shows, but it's actually Superman and Lois with Batwoman. So this comes from Mark Pedowitz, who recently revealed the lineup for when the CW shows are coming back. And as we talked about in yesterday's video, they're actually not going to be coming back until 2021. Supergirl is going to come back later, and so is Legends. They're going to come back at the mid-season of the summer season, so that's going to be like April, May when they're going to premiere. So... Everything's kind of up in the air due to what's happening right now. So none of our shows are coming back in October like they normally do. So things have been changed and therefore they're not going to do a big crossover event. However, they are planning on one. They're planning on a Superman and Lois crossover with Batwoman. So they will be coming together for a crossover event on the CW. And this comes right as, you know, Superman and Lois has been ordered to the straight to series. And you're going to see like a whole season once we get to January 2021, so the CW chairman and CEO Mark Pedowitz revealed Thursday on the network scheduling call that they have been planning this new crossover pairing the two superhero shows together. He said it would not happen in December given what's happening due to the production shutdown, but he hoped for it to be either in the first or second quarter of 2021. So this is a quote from Mark Pedowitz, he says, we're still working on it. It will be a smaller event than usual. We're only planning for a two hour event. We are talking about doing Superman and Batwoman together. There's a lot of other characters from our other shows, he said. So what can we take away from this? I think the main thing we can take away from this is he says we're working on it. So they're still coming up with how they can do this crossover. Because I'm presuming they were going to do like a four way crossover or at least like a three way crossover where it would be pretty big. But they have to re sort of imagine their plans, so that's why they're still working on it. Because normally, within the next few months, they'd be working on the crossover, planning how they're going to do it, when they're going to film it, and such. So basically, Mark says it's going to be a much smaller event than usual, therefore, they're planning on it only being a two hour event. But they're talking about it as it's like an actual event, so it's not just like Superman and Batwoman coming together because he says there's a lot of characters from our other shows coming. So I think that this is going to act as our big crossover. Yes, it's only going to be two hours. It's going to be on two shows. It's not going to be on, say, The Flash. It's going to be on Superman and Batwoman. I think this may be an idea to pair the two together. I think what they originally had planned was Supergirl and Batwoman having a crossover together, but instead they replaced it with Superman. And that is considering the fact that Supergirl isn't going to come back until much later. So it probably makes more sense to do it with Superman and his new show with Lois. Rather than just wait for Supergirl. And Batwoman has this crossover right at the end of its season or something like that. So I think probably was intended to be Supergirl and Batwoman crossing over. But you know I think the fact that they are introducing or bringing back loads of characters from our other shows in this crossover. Means that they're just going to use these two specific shows to have this crossover just be a bit smaller but still be a crossover and have our other characters because if it was just isolated to Superman and Lois with Batwoman they wouldn't include all these other characters so I think they definitely did plan on having some sort of crossover this year and they're just going to have to scale it back put it on just these two shows rather than any more. So yeah, that's it to do with the crossover really. So basically no massive crossover next year, but there is still going to be a crossover. I think this season we're definitely not going to get another Flash and Supergirl crossover like we've all been hoping, which is always a big shame and I think it's especially a shame, but I can get over it this year not having that crossover due to the circumstances of Supergirl having to film so much later than say when the Flash will go back. 
so I can really appreciate that. However, I'm still kind of really wanting that crossover between Supergirl and The Flash because they are the two shows that work the best together and they're the two characters from the other shows that work best together. So I'm really missing those crossovers. We haven't had one since the musical crossover in The Flash Season 3 and Supergirl Season 2. So it's been a very long time and I would really want that. Hopefully next season we can get that. So, you know, fingers crossed. Anyway, so for now, let's move on to talk about more Superman and Lois stuff. So they released their first look and they have started their sort of campaign for the show. They've got social media accounts now, so you can go follow us at CW Superman Lois on Twitter. I'm not sure about Instagram and other platforms, but anyway, so Superman and Lois coming January 2021. This is what this new sort of look at the show has revealed. And obviously this comes in line with what the CW announced recently with the whole schedule and the fact that Superman and Lois is coming after The Flash every week. And this is going to be every Tuesday night at 9, 8 central on The CW. So that's when Superman and Lois is coming. You can see in this poster, we get our first look at Superman and Lois. Last time we saw them was in Crisis, and I'm a big fan of Tyler Hoechlin as Superman, and I'm super excited for this show, and I'm going to tell you right now, guys, we're going to be covering this, and it's not just because Supergirl is gone, but that is part of the reason why we're going to be trying to cover this a bit more than, say, any of the other new shows. I think you guys are interested in this, and I'm really interested in seeing this show, because I'm a big fan of Superman, especially Tyler Hoechlin. And I'm a big fan of Lois from what we've seen in the crossovers. So I'm really, really rooting for this show. And this is going to be a thing that you're going to see more and more on my channel as we head towards the end of this year and into next year when the series premieres. You're going to see more Superman and Lois content. And I'm really excited. So let me know in the comments down below, would you want to see me cover this show? And, you know, I said partially because Supergirl is not going to come back till like April, May. It's going to be like over a whole year until we see Supergo again. Obviously I'll still continue making Supergo videos no matter when it's gonna come out and you know we do that all the time we have like a five month break from the end of the season till October we always make videos all the time about Supergo, The Flash and anything else so no problem about that we're gonna have to wait nearly a year till Supergo comes back after the finale this week however don't worry the videos are gonna continue I'll make theory videos, I'll link it to the other shows, and you'll still get Supergirl content. Maybe just not as much because we're going to have to wait such a long time, so they're not going to be rapidly bringing out news and everything like that. But Superman and Lois will be the opposite. They will be bringing out news. There's lots of castings recently and things like that. So I'm going to be planning to cover this show a lot more, as well as Supergirl and The Flash like I normally do. Okay, so yeah, the poster, let's break it down. So the skies just look very cool and Superman and Lois are in the foreground and right in front of the sky is the Daily Planet. Obviously, this is set in Metropolis and we're obviously going to explore that side of their life. That being, you know, actually working in Daily Planet, both of them, both Clark and Lois. And I'm actually really excited to explore that side of it because when we've seen Superman and Lois, they don't really work, you know, within the Daily Planet. You know, we've seen Clark walking around right when he first appeared on Supergirl. Like, he was in Metropolis, he was, like, reading a newspaper, he had his sort of Clark Kent gear on. But really, we haven't seen that much of that, so I'm really excited to explore that side of these characters, because we haven't explored that yet, and just to see more of them. And, you know, the fact that it's a spin-off from Supergirl, this is, like, Supergirl's first official spin-off, that makes me really excited, because... You know, this is definitely linked to Supergirl and, you know, Supergirl is very dear to my heart and I loved whenever Superman showed up and, you know, since that first episode I've been a big fan of Tyler as Superman. Anyway, so also we got the logo for the series, it's pretty cool. And so, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Superman and Lois videos, and also regarding the upcoming crossovers and all the shows including Supergirl, The Flash, Superman and Lois, and anything else that we are going to talk about. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy room.